So your question is solve. They have given you x, x plus 10 less than or equal to 12 minus x. First solve it. Then you will get x into x is x square plus x into 10 is 10x less than or equal to now goes to 12. 12 minus x. After this, bring everything to your left side. Here you will get x square plus 10x and 12 will become minus 12 and minus x will become plus x less than equal to 0 now. Solve it. You will get x square 10x plus x is 11x and minus 12 less than equal to 0. 12x sorry now we know that 12 into 1 is 12 and 12 minus 1 is 11 by taking middle term splitting just go for a middle term splitting by taking this is equal to that you will get what x square then plus 12x minus x minus 12 is equal to 0 by taking equal to 0. Now what are the common you can see x is common here you will get x plus 12 here minus 1 is common again you will get x plus 12 that is equal to 0. Now the two factors are what x minus 1 and x plus 12 that is equal to 0 that means that x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 12 now after this what symbol they have given inequality that is your this one and at the same time see the equation we get the equation x square plus 11x minus 12. That means the coefficient of x square is positive. We get a parabola for a minimum point. So we will draw that only like this. Now the two values are what? 1 and minus 12. That means minus 12 will be left of 1. Now see the symbol, they have given less than equal to. That means we have to move towards the negative side. So we will move towards the negative side like this. Therefore, we can see after 12, if you move like this, you will get what? Greater than. So here you can see x should be greater than equal to minus 12. And from 1 if you move toward the left side this way. What is that? x should be less than equal to 1. Now the two values is x is less than equal to 1. Now, now try to make if they are in relation or not. You can see just put x here less than equal to and here also less than equal. Now see this x should be greater than equal to what? Minus 12. And here x is less than equal to 1. Now if you see x should be greater than equal to minus 12. That means it should move towards minus 11, minus 10 towards the 0. And if you see from here, it is moving again towards the 0, less than or equal to 1. So therefore, we can say they are in relation. Therefore, your answer is this.